Good day, viewers. You're welcome to another interesting episode of your favorite program, The Tribune Update. I am from Laya Daramola, and with me are Deborah Mustafa, Today, we'll be discussing measures to eradicate criminal activities using as a case study Obin Victors. To start with his profile, Obin Wane um, OKK, popularly called Invictus Obi, is a Nigerian entrepreneur who hails from Anabra State. He is the founder of Invictus Group, an investment deal in construction, agriculture, oil and gas, telecoms, and real estate. He was born on November 9, 1987. This guy came into limelight after an international magazine, Forbes, featured him on one of the 30 entrepreneur CEO under 30 in 2016. Since then, he has been striving and making it. He studied international relations and counter-terrorism from Monash University, Australia. He is the seventh child of his family, obviously, is from a polygamous family. Recently, he has been arrested by FBI because of a massive fraud of $11 million traced from his account. So, girls, what do you think about this issue? Ah, to talk about this personality, like, OP investors, like, yeah. he has disappointed so many people. He's a prominent guy, like not just prominent, he's wealthy alongside. Mm -hmm. So many many people have been looking up to him as role model as mentor, but now that he has been discovered that he's a you know yeah, okay, because that's what people are arguing with. Like mm -hmm. the source of income is not clean. For the fact that he has been using it for you know into agriculture and all like gas, construction, mm -hmm. real estate and all that, he has he's, he's kind of disappointing. He has, his reputation is really at stake present. It shouldn't be, but that actually happened. So let's see how it's with him. Right. He has disappointed a lot of people, as she said. He has actually polluted the term role model for a lot of people. Because I don't know why somebody um, that people look up to should emulate that type of, should have that type of behavior. Like, it is very disappointing. I don't know what um, the people who actually look up to him will be thinking at this moment. I don't even understand. But he actually teach us some lessons. Like, for instance, being, having a role model does not say we should actually be exactly who this person is. We should only aspire to be great one day. But, mm -hmm. but by personal development, you can actually look into the person's profile and all that. And, and I also feel that we should actually not judge a book by the cover. People that we, um, are looking up to him, they actually judged him for more than about him on the surface. Okay, so someone on Twitter said he's a young man that has dreams and plans, but no thoughts take him to his dreamland. So he stole some funds to purchase the fuel and rode off to his dreamland, but he was busted because he purchased fuel for his family members and generations oh, so too. that's sarcastic, sarcastic and also a savage response, a uh, comment about This person is looking for an excuse for him, like yeah. justify what he did. That is actually mm -hmm. right. But what he did is actually very wrong. wrong. Like, you know, it is wrong. It is actually people spoiling people our people society. Okay. People to, for you to be called a prominent person. person. Like, it's not done. It's not and then right. using um, a, his company or Vic, in Victor's group of companies mm -hmm. to as a cover up, I think that's actually very wrong. And looking at the fact that this guy has been featured on Forbes, he was once on BBC, mm -hmm. and he was on TEDx Yava Talk. From my own angle, I'll say these people did not actually investigate this guy before featuring him. Before they would, you know, he would feature him in their magazine mm -hmm. and, you know, live mm -hmm. coverage and stuff like that. I think they should, they should have investigated more mm -hmm. on his profile, especially his background, before they could. There's no way they could have um, found out what he was actually doing. Yes. You know, he has a company that is like covering up for that is criminal activities now. He has a company, so there's no way they could have just um, they could have known that this guy is actually doing that particular thing at that time. And these organizations, they're actually promoting entrepreneurs. They are not security agencies. Yes. So I don't think there's a way they could have known that. Okay, this is who he is. They know him that. Okay, he has a company. Is into uh, so many things like that. So they, so it's also it's really celebrated. Yes. But now that they discover that his source of income is actually it's, okay, it's so disappointing. It is very wow. disappointing because this guy gives um TED talks. Like he, he talks yes. to so you. He became CEO at age twenty eight. Yeah, according wow. to him. <laughs> yeah, according <laughs> to him. He into business and his way like so. That yeah. was actually really according to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to say that. According and the guy is cute. I remember one of his his favorite quotes. Mindset, the time is where you'll be, and, yeah. and just to see his mindset. He actually like, had a mindset, like, he does, but he actually, to be good at what, he, what you read about him, like, he's the seventh, he's the seventh child. Yeah. Obviously, he's from Polygamous family, probably, and then he has the aiming to be, you know, to be great, to, be great, to bring his family out of poverty, but I guess. In a very wrong way, doing the right thing in a very wrong way. But do you guys know that um, this thing he did there, there are a lot of people that do it to our face, that push to our face. Yes. So what are we actually doing about this? There are a lot of people out there that are actually do, uh, making money 
the wrong brand. They push it. We all know so that. What are we doing to them? It is not their money is not clean. We all know. Yeah, I think like what the, well the action FBI have done concerning this case of OB investors. I think if they should start doing that too, I think it will actually reduce if it cannot even eradicate criminality in this Nigeria because. What's these people actually doing? They're painting Nigeria no bad. bad. Okay. People start the foreigners will start investigating on Nigeria. Everything they do. Even employ or no. And looking at it, that um, these evidences were gotten from his mail account, the account used in defrauding the company. Do you actually think it's um, invading his privacy, like what FBI is doing? Because some people on Twitter actually. I'm sure they've been that. investigating him for a very long time before they actually got him. They've been monitoring his steps account, and everything. Yeah. It's actually true that the action is actually hundred percent right, but this case is in two ways because you you may mention of invading into privacy. Mm -hmm. They actually did. We have talked about human rights, like we have a human rights. Not invade into privacy. I don't think privacy. there is privacy in crime. Yes, I don't think there I don't is privacy think in crime. We have talked about human rights, but what did this actually hundred percent? If if he didn't do anything wrong, wrong. Okay, they won't come and, and look if for him. And if on why we just suspect that I'm, I'm doing something wrong? No, they found out. No. I think a company reported him. Yeah, they, they reported him. Um, that he was doing something million, like that. The eleven million dollar fraud. Okay. If they had not reported, they wouldn't have investigated. Talkless of now having to go to his account. And his account, they didn't just go. They didn't hack into his account. These details were gotten from Google, like um, from the details. But even Google. right from time, FBI had yet to investigate. Yes. So they so no, it's, not, it's not it's not that's like i said earlier that they have actually been watching him for yeah. a very long the time for a long, so. mm -hmm. and the the step. okay just fuck up uh, won't fuck up from you and we'll i'm get looking to at the fact that these evidences were traced to his social media account now um, i think immediately after they discovered he deleted himself most deleted of all his social media accounts like, <laughs> so, they got him. so i think that's to also do with posting on social media account what people post and mm -hmm. because some of these things were actually linked to his social media account, some of exactly. his evidences. So now, what effect do you think this would have on people that are actually looking up to him? Because he's a role model to so many people. Like, to me, I would just say they should, people should not agree because of mm -hmm. influence. Like, okay, just for instance, bringing the case of Okoro Blessing. I don't mm -hmm. know on yeah. um, Instagram, yeah. that yeah, you know, the paint ourselves rich, wealthy on Instagram, but out of Instagram, out of social media, she's nothing. nothing. And suddenly, we, we actually got to know. A sister of mine is actually, you know, fancy now, because this person is yeah. again. Like, no, that story was very touching. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I just feel we should not drink because of influence. Our personal mm -hmm. development matters a lot. And also, we should know up our game, measure our growth. Okay, this person is there. Okay, I just have to. So know that I, want I to must compete. be in. Not competing, you know. You know yeah. You're not competing, you know. Just in I Just feel. I don't even understand what is going on on social media nowadays because <laughs> everybody wants to everybody wants to be rich exactly. and everybody wants to be like someone everybody, everybody wants to be rich um um growth and or to attain their own measure of success yes because when, when i look at you and i say that, okay why can't i be like this exactly. person and you don't know what the person is passing through actually this is, i think it is actually increasing crime in nigeria yeah. think, because everybody when wants to that game money at any means okay but you don't um, know what pa pa passing through yes that's very actually true actually think it should be i want to be me not than rather than I want that, to be that that's person. what um, people exactly. should learn nowadays mm -hmm. that okay just be yourself don't be like i don't, I don't be like the person next to you you don't know what mm -hmm. the person is doing yes. i think is um, yeah. this obese case is, that's it's what is teaching yeah. us yeah. yeah so okay looking at him that is before before his arrest and all he's an international figure known out there know don't you think this would actually have an effect on the way people look at nigerians right now oh like yeah. This is very you know, sad. It's telling already, like, people start, you know, before you even say you want to travel, travel out of the country, the foreigners will investigate on your profile, your social media accounts, know what you are doing over there, yeah. and all that. So, that, they're just making, they are making traveling out of the country very hard for Nigerians. Exactly. Because it is, it is hard enough right now that we can't even go anywhere we want to without because them looking at us like, you are Nigerian, you are Nigerian. Mm -hmm. It is very and sad. I, and apart from that, sad. I think it, it also have um, an effect on startup entrepreneurs. Because probably yeah. they can get grants, funds for people out there. They'll be like, oh, this person is not trying to scam <laughs> me. And, oh. and for people, pe um, organizations like Forbes, like BBC, before they can bring people on board, uh, they would have to <laughs> think and rethink and rethink and also like investigate. You start calling the FBI, so come and investigate this person. It is disappointing. Very, very. But I'm so sure that Obi will not. 
not go scot free. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm because it is FBI. FBI. It's not this, yeah. this case won't be swept under the carpet. Yeah, I tell Sam. you. I hope our own security agencies will emulate them. Yeah. Because now that we have a lot of people, they should actually look into. Exactly. They have have a guy. Yes. Now they push this thing on our face. We know that their yes, money. Yes, we know that their money is not legit. Nothing done yeah. about it. Yeah. We can't let just let this um, thing go. I think our government should actually do something about this thing. This they crime. Set yes, FBI. these people that that <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria version of FBI. Exactly. These yeah. people that travel um out of Walking the country to start yes, doing crime. Yes. They're actually spoiling our name. Yeah. And it's, it's very sad. Nigeria. I think this should actually very be a sad. to the Nigerian government, to the Nigerian youth, and to everybody. Social media influencers, yeah, because a lot of youth are actually have people they look up to mm -hmm. on social media. I, I don't know what happens to them, you know, get stabilized and disappointed. Oh, no, I'm not expressing my own yeah. opinion. Just have to be, you know, then you have to start I, from the scratch again. Exactly. Like, I saw on Twitter where someone said, Ah, she has been modeling her life right, so after she... Obi, wow. and now she, she does not know where to start from. So, right. all these, um people that give um, TED Talks to you too, they should mm -hmm. be careful because you just come and start telling me this, I made my money, I made exactly. my family, first million when I was 21 years old. How did you make it? You even <laughs> tell us, <laughs> just yeah. inspire to make uh, all those things. It is not it's very but sad. I'm very careful these days, mm -hmm. this generation in particular. Let's just see how this case turns out to be. I know it's not going to be swept on as yes, capital in time. Sure. Yeah, and sure. I hope the Nigerian government set up something like Nigerian FBI yes. so at least Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yeah. <laughs> so at least um criminal um, activities, activities be would reduced, be reduced. Yes. Like it or really, it really needs really to be reduced yeah. and eradicated in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have come to the end of today's show. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment your views on what you feel about this topic. Till the next show, stay out of crime. Bye.